Hi, I'm Maddie Ray, and I want to share an encouraging word with you from Psalms 119, verse 34 and 35 in the NIV. This is what it says. It says, Give me understanding so that I may keep your law and obey it with all my heart. Direct me in the path of your commands, for there I find delight. Now, I love these two verses, and I want to read to you again the first one, verse 34, where it says, Give me understanding. I want to encourage you as you go into your day and your week to ask the Lord to give you understanding of what His Word says and the life that He has for you to live. You know, the Bible says that we can ask the Lord to open up our eyes of understanding and flood our heart with light. It's important that as we approach God's Word, that we understand what's written in God's Word and the way that He wants us to conduct our lives as Christians. This is why it says, so that way I may keep your law. Help me to understand what your word says so I can do what your word says. And then it says, so I can obey it with all my heart. You know, I think that's such a great posture for our heart to be in as God's people, as Christians, is to always have a posture of our heart where I want to obey you, God. I want to do what your word says. I want to follow after your commands. That's what the next part says in verse 35. It says, direct me in the path of your commands. Sometimes people like to shy away from commands. They like to shy away from rules. They like to shy away from maybe, you know, what the Bible calls laws and things that we're to do and how we're to live our lives. People sometimes want, they don't always want to go that way. Sometimes they, they want to go, if I could be honest with you, they want to go the way of compromise. Can we make this a little easier? Does it have to take that much? But see, Psalms 119 is helping us to posture our heart where I want to go down this path of doing what God has commanded me to do. I want to go down this path of doing what God has instructed me to do. I want to go down this path of obeying God's word. I want to encourage you to do that because the last thing it says here is that when we do that, we find delight. You know, that's what I believe about following after God's word, following after the life that he has for us as Christians, which is very different from the life of people that live in the world and are not born again. It's very, very different and you have to know that. But it's when we follow after God's commands, when we have understanding of his word, there is where we find delight. There is where we find our peace. There is where we find hope. See, when we do what is right, that's when we see God be able to move within our lives. When we live our lives based off of his word and his principles, that's where we see the fruit that we reap by walking in the spirit. And walking in the spirit, is walking according to the word rather than according to your flesh, rather than according to culture, rather than according to the world. So I encourage you to posture your heart in the way that Psalms 119 verse 34 and 35 is encouraging us to do. Posture your heart to walk towards the path of God's commands, to obey the things that are written in his word, and as I always tell you, to live the life that God created you to live. Let me pray for you. God, I pray for my friend that's on the other side of this screen. Holy Spirit, I ask you to help them to posture their heart to be someone that longs to obey your commands, someone that longs to do what your word says and show them, Lord, the fruit of what happens when they do that, the fruit that they bear within their lives, the delight they can have within their lives, the joy they can feel within their life. I thank you that you are leading, guiding them into that, Lord. And I pray a blessing over their day and over their week. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it encouraged you. And if it did, I always ask you to share it with a friend or share it on your story so that way others can be encouraged as well. As always, thank you so much for taking the time with me. Thanks.